Hi, boys and girls, and welcome back. I'm so excited to be back from this awesome, restful break that we had. Two weeks, isn't that awesome? And I hope you had an amazing time with your family and you enjoyed all, you know, the holidays. And we are ready to start 2021. And today we are actually going to start on lesson two. But before we even move to lesson two, I do want to tell you, boys and girls, that we're going to review lesson one because we did do lesson one on before the break. And if you do the math, it's actually been three weeks that we uh, did lesson one. So I want to talk about it. Um, a little bit, it was a very simple lesson. We did talk about the new book that we were going, that we are going to be reading. Um, we actually read part or the book, The Buffalo Are Back. We read also a poem, Buffalo Dust, and we even showed you a video of someone reading the poem and we talked about how it felt, you know, we did notices, we did wonders, we talked about our essential question. And to remind you, our essential question is, what was life like in the West for early Americans? That's a very important question that you need to keep in mind while we are doing all the lessons for module two. So what was life like in the West for early Americans? And like I mentioned, and like Ms. Rodriguez mentioned before we went to break, um, we are going to be talking about American West and the history of the West side of the United States. I know that we showed you a map and I showed you where the West uh, is. It is on the California, um, Nevada states. Um, that is the West side of right now. Um, but the time that we're going to be talking about in module two, we, there was still no California and there was still no, um, cities established that this time we're barely talking about how the pioneers traveled West and, you know, the land was developed. Um, so another thing that I want to talk about is us understanding of the, I guess that each book is going to help us for that essential question. It's an understanding that we have since module one that we did that. And we also going to build our knowledge and activate prior knowledge that we have already um, learned and you know determined from module one. We also going to use that for module two. So in module one, we did talk about, you know, the change, how change um, affects People, you know, it depends on what we're talking about. But in this case, we're going to talk about change in the land and how it affected many people or impacted the people right in that particular place. So it is going to build on that uh, module one into module two. And it's going to be very interesting. So another thing I want to talk about that lesson one talked about is us preparing ourselves to listen. So Another thing that we did, it was that we took deep breaths, right? We, we breathe in and breathe out. And then we discussed how we felt if we were more focused, if we were ready to listen. That is something that is a skill that is very important for us to keep, guys, because um, you can use it either not just for winning wisdom, but for any subject. Just take a deep breath and focus it straight and focus on the lesson. So keep that one in mind. We did go over that um, skill and, you know, strategy for us to focus and listen to the whole message in lesson one. And then we read the book together. We did some notices. We did some wonders. And of course, we're going to continue on to that on lesson two. And, and one of the main things that we are going to talk about is the poem, Buffalo Dust. Okay. <clears throat> In our deep dive for lesson one, we went over the vocabulary of settle. So when you settle, you start a new life in a new place. When you are a settler, it's someone who moves to a new place to start a new life. So that is a, a, a very important vocabulary word because we are going to be using it in our um, module because we're going to be learning about different settlers and different people or that settled in different places. So keep that in mind. When you settle, it's when you start a new, a new life in a new place. And when you are a settler, that means that you're someone who moves to a new place to start a new life. 
Um, with that being said, we are very proud of our students in second grade for finishing module one. We are ready to start module two. Um, I know we started module two before break for lesson one. Now we're going to go full on. And today we're going to do lesson two and learned so, so much about the American West and I'm so excited. So let's get started with lesson two. So lesson two, our objectives are in the top. So if you follow carefully right here, it says the student will be able to review lesson one to recall important events. So that is kind of like what I already what I already did, right? I I we reviewed lesson one. I I talked about those important things. And then our objective for lesson two is that the student will be able to retell main topics and key events of the book. So yes, boys and girls. I know we already read the book before break, but we are going to read the book again because how we're we going to be able to, to retell main events and key events if the last time that you saw this book was three weeks ago, right? It's very important that we refresh that, you know, your, your mind or, you know, to activate that prior knowledge that you guys already have. And that's what we're going to be working on today's video before you go into your life. So what are we going to be doing? If you look at our objective, it says retell. So to retell, it's to tell again. And then if you continue reading, it says key events. Events is a detail that happens in the story. Now, if you know key, key is important, right? Something that is very important that helps us understand the book. You know, so that important event that happened in the book that probably made an impact on something else, right? I don't want to give you too much clues on what we're doing. And then main topic, what is the story mostly about? So I know that we are very aware of main idea. So that is basically what we're working on today. It is main idea. We're going to be gathering those details that are important, that are small parts of the of the story that help us determine that main idea, that main topic of the book. And then topic specific words. This ones are going to be very important for you to know what topic specific words you have for each book that we're going to read. Because in your focusing question test, that is something that you will need to have. Um, you will need to have those topic specific words from that book. So right now, we are going to be looking at Buffalo or Back. We are sure that Buffalo is a topic specific word because it's not only in the title, but it does talk about how Buffalo were affected by the changes that happened in the Perry, right? So um, that is what uh, topic specific words and the reason why we want to see them in your focusing question task is because we want to make sure that you guys are looking at the topic and not just you know guessing on oh this is a topic specific word so we are going to closely identify those words throughout the book starting in this module and you will un you will see how at times we will even create charts or lists of those topic specific words to help you gather that evidence that you need for your informative paragraph and then of course to use that evidence with your topic specific words to write your informative paragraph so how we're we going to be doing that so first we're going to read the buffalo dust so buffalo dust is of course the poem we are going to be exploring the poem in a lot more i guess deeper in a deeper exploration right not just you know I guess not just um, reading it here and then we looked at the video, no. So we are going to be looking at the poem. We are also going to be looking at the book Buffalo or Back. I know I did not write it there, but we are also going to be looking at that. We're going to define vocabulary words that are going to help us determine those topic specific words, right? And then of course, once we know the vocabulary, we already read it again, we're going to identify key details that's probably going to be done either in the life or no it's going to be done tomorrow and then examine those specific words to, topic specific words to help us understand the book better and why is it important because it is important to recall events in the story to help us determine that main topic when we get those small parts of the story those small key parts of the story we are able to identify um the main idea 
right? And we use main idea not only in Wit and Wisdom, but also, you know, in your Texas Treasures class and DI, you always talk about what is going on in the story, what is happening, what is mainly happening. We even do it in our bi-weekly assessments, in our NR modules. So it's, it's a skill that we have encountered before, and it's a skill that we need to make sure we become fluent in it because it's going to help us gather that comprehension that we need to you know be successful in our uh, in our exams right so let's get started i'm sorry i'm sorry sorry i'm super excited to be back with you guys today and you know just back to to school and 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 see you again and talk to you guys so First, we're going to revisit, like I said, we're going to revisit Buffalo Dust. I am going to show you um, the video again. And then we're going to go into um, looking into that vocabulary, looking at how we can understand. And of course, going over the, the Buffalo Are Back book. So make sure that when you're listening to the audio, boys and girls, you are following along in your tracking. Okay. Buffalo Dusk. If it ain't poetry, it's history. The buffaloes are gone, and those who saw the buffaloes are gone. Those who saw the buffaloes by thousands, and how they pawed the prairie sod into dust with their hoofs, their great heads down, pawing on in a great pageant of dust. Those who saw the buffaloes are gone, and the buffaloes are gone. Awesome. So, I know when I read it, before we went to break, I was just reading, the buffalo are gone, and those who saw the buffalo are gone. And then when my students saw the video, it's like, oh, I feel sad. Right, because of the different tone that the the narrator was reading it, and then now we're revisiting it and thinking about um, about it. And actually, boys and girls, the one reading it in this um, in this audio is actually the one that wrote this poem. So, how did the how did Carol's or Carl's voice sound? Was he happy or was he sad? Think about it. Was he happy or was he sad? Yes, I felt that in in his voice it was sad or it was just calm, right? Why do you think he read the poem using a sad and serious voice? Why do you think he read it like that? Think about it. Why do you think he used that type of voice? So if you were thinking that he he uses that uh, voice because he wanted to make sure, sure that the disappearing of the buffalo was a serious thing, you know? It was a very important topic. It was something that was not good for anybody, right? So I felt that he was using this tone of voice and being in a serious tone because he wanted to show the importance of the buffalo being, you know, gone, right, or leaving. Um, so we will look closely at the buffalo are back, that means the book. We are going to be looking closely on that and seeing how, you know, the events happened and how it got to where it, you know, it is now, okay? Another question that is very important for us to not forget is our focusing question. And this question is actually um, the question that we are going to answer in a few lessons. And of course, using the book, The Buffalo Are Back. And we will also be able to use the buffalo dust for some evidence. So how did the actions of the American Indians and early Americans impact the Perry in the American West? So don't forget this question. And remember, boys and girls, you're looking at the actions. How did the actions of the people impact? That means change the Perry from the American West. So those are two key words that you need to think about. Actions and impact. And then, of course, the actions of American Indians and early Americans, and of course, 
the change that it cost the Perry. Okay. Our content framing question, that is a question that we're answering at the end of lesson two, and that is what is happening in the Buffalo or back? So um, before we continue, what type of text do you think this is and why? Is it a narrative or an informational type of text? And this, of course, we're, we're talking about the buffalo or back. What type of text do you think it is? If you were thinking about that the book has headings, we heard a lot of information and I think it's true. Yes, boys and girls, it can get confusing because it does talk about, you know, the little girl at the end and then, you know, here and there are some characters that wrote about Theodore. But it's very important that you realize that some text features in this text make it an informational book. Okay, the text features of headings and the text feature of having that you know, information about every topic according to the heading makes it an information, okay? So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you some illustrations to help you define some new terms that we have probably not seen before. So we, know, we often use the word buffalo right that is a word that we have heard before well this word is bison and bison is a buffalo okay so let me look real quick to the picture that they're showing us here and if you look about at it a bison is a buffalo it's just a different uh way that they call it um and a bison is a, is a part of the family of the buffalo um but I tend to just use buffalo, right? But bison means buffalo. So if you ever hear the word bison, they're talking about buffalo, okay? Let me go back to the prior point. Another word that we will um, be using also in the buffalo or back is plains. So if you look carefully on plains, what is plains? So plains is like a peri. So telling me to so here you see the bison or the buffalo in the peri that is the plains okay it's like a plain area a landscape you see there's no trees of course you see some trees in the back but that area this area is the 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 plain right the plain area You see, no, it's just like on the same level. Okay, so let's go back to our PowerPoint. Let's see what other word. And of course, um, those were the two vocabulary words that we were going to um, discuss, bison and planes. And then now we're going to go into our content framing question. And we're going to be looking at what is happening in the book, okay? what is happening in the book and how the book helps us define um, those vocabulary words that we just saw, okay? So before I even continue, boys and girls, I do want to uh, explain something real quick that we are going to be using in this module. And my explanation is a timeline, okay? We are going to be using timeline. Um, we are still brainstorming Ms. Rodriguez and myself to see how we're going to make this timeline and where you can actually see that we're adding to it because every book that we read, we are going to add an event to that timeline. Okay, so um, the event that we're adding in that timeline has to be with either the main idea of the book or key details that happen in the book that will be added in the timeline. And these are the dates that we will be using, okay? So how can you prepare to listen? Think about it. I discussed it in the beginning of this video. Yes, you breathe in and out and you prepare yourself to listen because now we are going to read parts of the book, The Buffalo Are Back, and discuss 
um, the main topic of that part of the text and then what is going on and what the section and the time of the section that is happening, okay? So, so in our live class, we are going to be reading those sections of the book and discussing the sections of the book and talking about those key details using the two vocabulary words that we just learned and just understanding the main topic of that part of the text, okay? So let's be ready for our life. You all do have a small break before we go there. Use it wisely, boys and girls. Go to the restroom, come back, get ready. Have your, your um, materials ready, your new packet for Wit and Wisdom. Have your um, book, the, the blue book, just in case um, we are going to be using it today. We might not get to it. We might get on to it until tomorrow, but just make sure that you have those things accessible for you so that you can be successful for this lesson. I am so happy to be back with you guys after that awesome two week break. Um, and I'm ready to teach you and to learn from you. And let's just get started with module two. So see you at nine in the morning. Bye.